Good morning, guys. Welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, we're working on the 6.0. So you see, we got the hood popped. Um, I noticed when we pulled the Fickham out, the Fickham should be here today. But when we pulled the Fickham out to send it off to Blessed Performance, uh, and by the way, big thank you to Matt and them. I will leave a link down below to Blessed Performance. Um, Matt's always been great to work with. I've been super happy with my PCM TCM tunes in this truck. Um, but I'm excited to see how the Fickham tuning is. <clears throat> and bear with me. I'm losing my voice just a little bit. But uh, we're better than yesterday. But anyway, <laughs> I noticed my uh, hot side charge pipe on the turbo. Looked to be one good pull away from being unbooted. So we're going to get that put back on real quick. And uh, the Fickham should be here before too too long we'll go ahead and throw that in here and see how this thing does all right guys so Fickham just came in um uh, got it unboxed and here it is and uh big thank you to our buddy over at blessed performance matt big thank you to matt um i guess ups lost this thing they found it monday they delivered it to him um he tuned it and put it back in a box and overnight it so uh, he tuned it yesterday and it's here today. It is 4.05 right now. Um, and got a nice, less performance decal. Uh, we'll put that on something. But anyway, let's get out here. We'll get this guy installed in the truck and we'll see what it does. All right. So we got it all put back together. You can see the Fickham in there. Um, now, I do have to order a nut for the Fickham and isolators, uh, but we'll get those ordered. It's not a terribly big deal. Now, we did leak a little bit of coolant, uh, so I do need to get some coolant to put in this thing, but regardless, let's hop up in here. If I have the key, I have the key somewhere. It might be in the truck. Um, yeah, it's in here. So, we'll hop up in here, give this thing a start up, and uh, we'll see how she likes it. Alright guys, so fired right up. Batteries are a little low, so uh, I am going to take this thing for a quick little drive. We'll see how it feels. I'm not going to really get on it, get on it, um, at least until it's warmed up, because it is kind of cold. Uh, it's been kind of cool here, especially in the mornings. Um, well, it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, it's 67 degrees. So, I will say, thing seems to seem to start faster which is nice um, but I give it a little drive and uh, we'll see how it does but it also feels like I got more throttle response which is nice too so again we'll drive it we'll see what it does and uh, well I guess I will catch y'all when we get back to the house all right guys so we just got back uh, from a little test drive I don't know, it wasn't nothing too crazy. Um, did get on it a few times. Didn't do full throttle. Um, not yet. I figured we'd give everything a little time to relearn. Uh, until we got home and I took my grandpa for a ride back here in the field. I don't know if you can tell how dusty it is. Uh, but we just... Uh, yeah. 11's from about there to about over there somewhere. Uh pretty impressed I will say uh, <laughs> and I was thinking well what the stock tires would do if we put those on here um, so kind of interested to see but uh, yeah. yeah a little a little sideways um, but I will say this thing seems to have waken up even more now I did get a couple videos uh, they're not in the right format I don't think but I'll put those up here on the screen. Um, most of those are between, I'd say 40 and 70 or so percent throttle, but.
all in all, I'm very impressed. So what uh, what they say is improved cold start, um, I believe improved warm start. I don't know, mine seems to start better warm. Um, so supposed to pick up a little bit of fuel mileage. Um, I think he said between 20 and 200 horsepower, you know, depending on what's done to the truck and how the truck responds uh, to that kind of thing. But as far as like warm starts go, that's that's better than it was there for a little while warm starts were uh a little iffy <laughs> but thing seems to be happier i will say uh, a little better throttle response you know that kind of thing um the turbo i don't remember if he said the turbo was supposed to spoil a little faster it seemed like this one does but it may be because it's cooler i don't know but i will say truck seems to be very happy all in all now i need to check make sure my coolant bottle isn't leaking or anything um but yes very very happy with this <laughs> is uh well as you can see there's dirt everywhere but you know figured have a little fun down there um <laughs> and there's also dirt and mud on the hood um but like i said truck seems to be happier um no leaks well, i guess we're good there so i uh, did have some i didn't even wipe it off from a while ago but um i do need to get a little coolant put in here but truck seems to be happier i will say um so we do still need to get a PCM revision for these tires and wheels um, for like shift points and you know all that kind of thing but uh, all in all pretty happy I'm actually very happy um, was well, kind of a headache <laughs> with this whole deal because again UPS but um, all in all nothing terrible they did get it back uh, to me, so that is a plus. I'm pretty sure my key just fell out of my pocket, so I'll get to find it here in a minute. Um, but regardless, very, very happy with the truck. Uh, runs great. Um, I'm very happy with it. So anyway, guys, I reckon that's going to be a wrap for this one. So uh, I am going to drive this thing tonight. I figured... Instead of my daily night drive in the 300, we'll take this thing. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the decal on the table uh, in there, but I do have a decal to take about 45 minutes from here or so. So we'll drive this. We'll see how it likes it, how it does, that kind of thing. And uh, we'll see about the fuel mileage thing. So I was quite interested with that. Um, and on that drive, I'll just cruise it because there's lots of cops that sit through there. But anyway, guys, again, I will leave a link down below to Blessed Performance. Big thank you to Matt. Uh, Matt's been awesome to work with. Um, that's why the decal's on my door. But Matt's been awesome to work with. Uh, super helpful with stuff before. So again, big thank you to Matt. Um, and they have more than just, they do more than just tuning. Um, they have a whole store check them out that's where I ordered my IPR screens from um, and again he did my PCM TCM tuning super happy with that so I just I don't know I like those guys over there they've always been super helpful but anyway I guess um, I'm gonna get this video edited I need to find my key it's it's in this area somewhere um, but I'll find my key and uh, here in a little bit we'll take that decal we'll go to the grip um, and whatnot. so I was actually stressing about if we're going to make it to a show this weekend uh, this Saturday here in Circe it's about an hour from here uh, Wake the Dead it's the 15th annual show we're going to put this in it and 
I don't know. I don't really care if I bring home anything. We're just going to go. And then later that day, there's a meet that we're also going to in North Little Rock. So, look like we're going to be able to make it. Um, so, pretty happy about that. We do need to get this thing cleaned up because it's, uh, it's filthy. It is very, very filthy. We do need to rotate these, but we can't rotate these because the Hyundai's in the shop. Um, I guess the Jeep's going back down here. I had a guy who was supposed to buy it tonight and uh, no answer from him. So I guess we'll, we'll do that. Um, but like I said, at some point we'll get the Jeep back down here. Um, but the Hyundai needs to come out before we can rotate these. So that stuff should be here I think next week. Um, I don't know. I don't think y'all have seen that video yet, but regardless, we're making progress. So we need to get this thing cleaned up before the, before the weekend. It's Tuesday, so we got plenty of time, um, and whatnot. But anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. Hope everybody has a great day. If you enjoyed today's video or find it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.